Dennis in West Babylon, New York. He writes to me, he says, my main source of music is CDs and the occasional LP. So I'm hoping you can give me some guidance. I will do my best, sir. I'd like to get a good quality DAC for my two, my two 300 CD mega changers that I can run through my AVR. And AVR is an audio video receiver for those of you that don't know. I'm having trouble finding a DAC with an input selector to select between my two CD players. And that doesn't have a built-in preamp as I will be plugging the unit into the preamp of my AVR. And I assume it is not a good idea to daisy chain preamps. Is there a DAC that will suit my needs? Why certainly, why certainly, hmm, he's gonna recommend his own. <laughs> so, yes, of course, we make DACs that would suit your purpose and just about everybody else does as well. So here's the thing. No, you don't want two preamps in series. That would not be a good idea. And as for DACs that have multiple digital inputs, well, I mean, this is an expensive DAC, and I assume you don't want something like that, but our DirectStream Mark II certainly does. But let's talk about really the core here is your worry about the built-in preamp. I don't know of a reasonable DAC that has a built-in preamp. Our DACs, whether it's our lowest cost to our highest cost, and just about everybody else's separate DAC out there have volume controls. And don't get me wrong, ours goes from 100 all the way down to zero, and a lot of people plug the output of this DAC directly into their power amplifier, and life's good. But there is no preamp built in here. This is done digitally, and years ago, when DACs first came out, and we were some of the first people to ever even make separate DACs, there was a good reason not to use that volume control. Those early volume controls were lossy. It's doing simple arithmetic on the digital signals, which is easy to make a digital signal lower or higher in amplitude by just doing some, some easy quick math. The problem is, when you do that, you start losing resolution. So, oh gosh. 10, 15 years ago, we came up with ways of making lossless digital volume controls. They're still just doing math. Essentially what we do, instead of just starting with the 16 bits of a CD, we upsample it to like 50 bits, and then we have plenty of room to move the volume up and down without actually affecting the core 16, 24 bits, whatever number you're using. So today's DAX, from the lowest cost reasonable DAC, let's say, you, I don't know, pick something. If it has a volume control, I'm gonna say 99.9%, .9 it's not going to be a preamp volume control that you're thinking of, like a pot or a, a series of switches. It's just gonna be doing some math. And if it's a modern DAC, then you know that it is lossless. And just ask the manufacturer. Every DAC we make has a lossless volume control. And you can set that anywhere you want, at 100 if you want it, at 50, whatever suits your, your, your needs. No problem, no loss whatsoever. So just find a good DAC that you like the way it sounds, that has your multiple inputs, you got it, okay? Thanks.